You came here because you want to know how to enable JIT in iOS 17 and play on iOS your favorite Nintendo GameCube and PlayStation 2 titles on your iPhone via Dolphin iOS or Provenance emulators. Actually, you probably already have tried to do it and it didn't work. And because it didn't, you actually have gone and checked out the official alt store guide and it just doesn't work. Then you're in the right place. Let's get started. First, I'm not gonna waste your time. Sadly, enable JIT, it's sort of in a state of limbo at the moment. On X, the official alt store support account, uh, it shows that on Mac OS, it's working, but only on Mac OS with the Windows version not working and the fix nowhere to be found since even three to four months ago as of the recording of this video. First, let's talk Mac OS and how to enable JIT on it. I personally have an iMac Pro and Mac OS installed and I have followed the steps to install the alt store, which I personally have a video explaining it in the little bubble on top. And don't worry, the alt store install is super easy. Easier than ever, actually. So, I did enable JIT on my iPhone 15 Pro Max, but the games sadly crash. And to make matters worse, you can't use JIT Streamer to enable JIT remotely away from your computer. You can't do it over Wi-Fi local network either. You can only enable JIT or try to via wired USB cable directly to your phone which is annoying and pretty much defeats the point and purpose of mobile emulating. If I have to enable JIT every time, I might as well play the game that I'm emulating on the computer that's doing the enable JIT. Don't you agree? I have done a deep search into Discord servers and Reddit for tips and tried them all, even the Xcode method and downgraded the code to the specific versions that some people said that worked with no success. The games just keep on crashing. But instead of giving up on the alt store, I decided to embrace it. What actually works from it? So let's finish up with enable JIT on Windows first though. For Windows users, I'm sorry to say, until there's an update, it doesn't work. You cannot enable JIT on Windows as you can see also from the official Alt Store support page. So I invite you to subscribe and give it a like if you like this video, and I will keep you updated on this channel and my socials as soon as we get a fix for the Windows enabled JIT, which the fix, I think it's gonna be out sooner than we think, and I'll explain why in a little bit. I invite you though to still install the Alt Store via my guide here or the official guide link in the description and get the Delta emulator or the prominence one so you can play Nintendo 64 games, awesome Game Boy games, SNES games, Nintendo DS games, which the Nintendo DS side of things requires a couple extra steps and I actually have a guide on explaining the BIOS files and all that good stuff in my video coming soon. Check the bubble on top or the playlist for this video. So you can play Nintendo DS games on your iPhone, all without enabling JIT. Because all of the games I just mentioned in platforms, besides PlayStation 2 and GameCube and Wii, don't require enable JIT. Soon though, with the iOS 18 release, we might not need to worry about all this enable JIT at all. If the EU forces Apple to allow sideloading apps or different app stores, we can expect to have Delta, Dolphin, Provenance, and many more iPhone game emulators working without these annoying extra steps. What are your thoughts though on the EU forcing Apple to open the iPhone or the App Store and allow sideloading apps? Let me know in the comments below. As you can see, some of the creators online from emulators and the Alt Store like Riley Studd has shared his thoughts on it and I believe that the current limbo state of enabled JIT won't be fixed until around fall time of 2024 when they release Apple releases iOS 18 since him and other developers are 
probably also waiting to see the whole side loading EU forcing Apple scenario to pan out. I think they're kind of just not going to fix enable JIT on Windows or even the Mac version more efficiently until those events transpire. To wrap things up, I invite you to install the Alt Store because it is worth it. You get to play so many things without enabled JIT. If you need help, check out my guides and let me know in the comments below. And let's enjoy some iPhone emulators, shall we? I'm in Warl7, your host at Richie Rich Labs. It's been a pleasure finding all this out for you. And thanks for your support. Let's keep at it. Till next time. Peace.